this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IX! What happened to Dagger last time? Well, what do you mean? Just because she stopped talking to you? Oh, no! Did she get, like, hit with a massive silence spell or something like that? Use an echo grass on her! I can get some grass for her. No, not that kind of grass. Or, uh... They don't have Echo Grass to, uh, cure, uh, silence in this game, do they? I forget what the hue. <laughs> I think it's an Echo Screen, technically, but... Yeah, you guys go worry about her. Uh, me, I, I don't care, you know, you guys just do your own thing. What do they use to cure silence in this game? Echo Screen, okay. I was thinking of another game. Okay, well, yeah, we gotta head back to the, uh, guest room in order to, uh, check on Dagger there, so... Let's go do that, then. How'd they get her down there so fast? Uh, yeah. Yeah, let's head on back there, then. Man, what could have caused this? I mean, I was with her the whole time. She was casting summons just fine until the end there. She seemed pretty happy when I rescued her. Or maybe that was before the whole castle got obliterated. Hmm. Maybe it's a side effect. Well, she's still... Physically okay, right, guys? Hey, how's it going? Oh, right, you can't tell me. What's going on? Oh, man. You're not gonna tell me what's wrong with you, are you, Dagger? You okay? Yeah, it is, man. Well, what, what can we do about it? Can we go on an item fetch quest to fix it? No, we can't, actually, you know? I actually like that... Yeah, yeah, she's uh, in terrible grief over the loss of her kingdom. But, I mean, I like how they threw, throw this in here as just like a little tidbit into the plot, you know? As opposed to throwing in some stupid item fetch quest or whatever... Where, you know, it has nothing to do with actually progressing with the plot or killing the bad guy or anything like that. You know, they, they it's a logical thing to actually happen to someone after your kingdom gets totally destroyed. You know? So, but, but they don't, like, draw it out either. It actually also has a little side effect for her in battle where uh, anytime you enter a command for her... She'll randomly say, oh, she can't, or the game will say that she can't concentrate or, or something like that. So, and then she won't execute the command. Despite that, she is still actually very useful. So, you know, don't let the game fool you by saying, oh, well, just because she'll randomly not do what you tell her to do means that she's totally useless for the remainder of the game. No, no, not at all. In fact, I think she's actually more useful than Aiko. Oh, I'm going to get a lot of hate for that one, but it's true, viewers. It's true. Oh, yeah. Yeah, don't worry about Dagger. There's nothing we can do for her. So, uh, let's see if we can find a way to help help sit out. <laughs> Sorry to just overact so much. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> yeah, now Aiko's gonna be the one babysitting. That's great. So what do we do now? No, you have no hope there. Oh, you really don't. Huh. Well, if Hilda's on uh, Kuja's side, there's no chance of that. W what can we do about it? Ah. Well, the whole game has a comical tone, and it worked for, uh, Blank there. Oh, okay. Hmm. Well, let's get the ingredients together, then. They didn't put us on an item fetch quest for Dagger, but for Sid? Yeah. Yeah. Huh, so we gotta find these three potions. Alright. So where do we get these potions, then? You're not going to tell us where to get these, are they? No. No, they're not going to tell us. Oh, well, at least we have Cinna there. Okay, well, that's one down. 
I'm gonna go downtown. Alright! Oh, and we got an ATE. Hold on a sec. Ah, that's better. Let's see what's wrong with my hammer. Or, what's going on with this ATE here. Ah, there we go. Oh, come on! Fall! 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 Oh, man, he's not gonna fall. I wanted to see him fall flat on his ass. Oh, well. I suppose I've seen enough of that. Don't you already have a hammer? Oh, okay, I'll get you another one. <laughs> no, you can't borrow my hammer! <laughs> Come on! I just want to use your hammer, man! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I just have such a childish imagination, viewers. Ladies, if you can find a man who won't laugh at something like that, you are fortunate! Because most men will. Most men don't uh, become more mature than 18 years old, if that. But before uh, actually going on to uh, finding all those potions and whatnot that we need to, let's go find some treasure. And I'll just meet you back up on the uh, the main floor there. I'll just get back there off screen. But uh, let's ride over to the Dragon's Gate. We've got some new stuff that we can get as long as we're here. Oh, we can't get out this way? Well, why not? Game? Oh, nuts. Yeah, they locked it after we went through uh, uh, Kisimaluke's Grotto. But now we can uh, grab that remedy there. It's already refilled. Let's head to the Serpent's Gate. I think there's a treasure over there. Maybe we can find Kina. Let's see what's going on over here. Ah, there it is. And over here we get a chim another Chimera armlet. All right. Anything interesting going on over here? This is where they have the uh, dock, if you remember from earlier. Hmm. Nothing going on here yet. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'll just meet you back on the main floor then. Okay, we're back, so now let's go back into town and see if we can find all those potions that we need to get. There's a lot of potions that we need. Hey, how's it going? Oh, huh? there you go. What ship? Hmm, I wonder what they're talking about. Oh, another airship? Hmm. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, we gotta get back to the, uh... Let's see, let's go to the business district first, because there's some uh, new equipment that I want to buy while I'm there anyway. And fast forward! There we go. Now, whenever you talk to someone while you're looking for the potion, you can ask about the potion, or you can just go for some random dialogue there. So, there you are. If you want to get the potion from someone who actually has it, then you have to ask them about the potion. I'll just go straight for the person who uh, actually has it. As far as asking about the potion goes. Well, a lot of people are uh, working on rebuilding the city. I kind of like this atmosphere of uh, Lindblom better than the old atmosphere. Uh, when I was a young lad, I wanted to be uh, an architect, actually. And then I became an engineer instead. Some people were asking, what kind of engineer are you? Uh, electronics. Yeah, yeah, I know that's a real shock to you viewers. There you go. Now, before moving on here, uh, remember that one Moogle we met up with earlier had a letter for us to deliver? He got to deliver it over here. Yeah, yeah. I wish they would have woken you up in the inn here like they did the last two times we were here, but, well, there you go. Oh, no. Anything else? No, no, that's pretty much everything. Okay, well, now let's just, uh, well, go for all the treasure and, uh, most of the people are talking about the same thing, really. Just rebuilding Lindblom, and that's all nice and everything, but I do want to kind of find all the potions today if I can. So let's see, now, if you go over here, you can find the Sagittarius. Salazia. My dad's a Sagittarius. But anyway, yeah, yeah, someone was saying that you could find it there. You can't do that until disc three. So, just so you know. And if you go over here, he's got some more stuff for us to loot here. All right. Hey, how's it going? Still playing cards? Oh. Haha. <laughs> okay. Well, I think that's all the treasure we can get in uh, the business district here. There's nothing interesting to synthesize, at least as far as I know. So, 
Let's uh, head on over to the weapon shaft first. Well, it's nice to know the armor he was spared during the invasion. Uh, let's talk about something else. Yeah, yeah, let's go buy some new things. Okay, first things first. We want to buy a couple magic rackets for the ladies there. Uh, let's see, we want to get a cypress pile for Vivi. Let's see, one more twist headband ought to do. Let's see, three mu- I only needed two of those, but okay. Two of those and three dark hats. So dark hat is the best piece of headgear in, for, for now, for non-armor wearing users. So this is the lady we need to talk to. So yeah, she has the beautiful potion. Well, of course she do. You're a brunette. Or at least you look like a brunette to me. I prefer dark brunettes myself, but yeah, take what you can get. Okay, well let's head on back to the air cab station and get on over to the theater district then. Okay, we're back, so now let's head on over to the theater district then. Fast forward! There we go. Don't you wish you could do that in real life when you gotta go to work, you know? Just fast forward your way through traffic. But anyway, remember way at the end of disc one when we were at Permetia and we saved that guy's life from the collapsing statue? Well, if you do, you get a little extra dialogue here, so how nice. I love how they add that little detail there into the game, you know? Well, there we go. Oh, no. Well, at least you guys are still okay. And after talking to them, you get another ATE. So, there we are. So, yeah, lots of little extra details that they just put in here, you know? Nothing overly, you know, important to the plot. You know, it's not like you would miss anything, but... Just some more details that they add to it. I love that. Give a little more background to Freya and the sacking of Bermisha. I, I suppose so. It's not like the Black Mages are going to attack you again. Well, yeah, we gotta take them out. Gotta kill the big bad, just like every other RPG. Except Ultima 4, but other than that. Uh, well, uh, maybe later. Yeah, yeah, sounds like a plan. All right. Someone was asking me in a video, what does genuflecting mean? That's what it means, to get down on one knee, to, well, get down on one knee like that. Like, a, like someone being knighted or something like that, you know? That's what genuflect means. Anything with flecked? As a suffix to a word means uh, bending. Yeah. Oh, they have lots of kids. Man, they breed like. Oh, right. Rats. Savior, huh? Well, there you go. Oh, there we go. What? It's not like asking, you know, where do babies come from? You didn't have to disguise your answer like that. <laughs> I want a savior too! <laughs> Well, there you go. Okay. Well, it's awfully nice of Sid to bring, uh, or to bring the Bermisha orphans in. Well, there we go. Oops, sorry. Uh, let's see. Let's head on down here. See if we can find one of the potions here. Let's see. Nothing here. If we go over here. We can get a lapis lazuli. Awesome. Uh, yeah. You know anything about a potion? Oh. I guess I had the wrong guy. Okay. But anyway, you gotta ask him about the potion, then come over here, and you can get the strange potion. So, two down, one to go. Supposedly, Cinna has it. And his hammer. Remember that Cinna is rather obsessed with his hammer for later. It's, it's, it's kind of important. Well, not really important, but there you go. Oh, well, I'm still in one piece, ready to entertain you guys. Yeah. He'll live. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, I did see him. I was gonna say, did I? Nah, but yeah, I actually did. Yeah, you, can I borrow, or not your hammer, uh, your potion? All right, there we go. Well, it seems that we've managed to find all the three components to the potion to save Sid, but will it work on him, or will it make him croak? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IX! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!
but I want to talk to them more. Where are you going? 